I've always wanted to learn React from scratch. Get the basics right and employ its logic in more complex frameworks like SharePoint Framework or create even simple single page applications. Until your basics are strong, you tend to be less confident in your coding endeavors. Hi, welcome to DS Tech Mirror. This channel is dedicated to deliver content related to SharePoint online customizations. This video is the first of its video series dedicated for React Tutorial. This course aims at mastering the basics and get more comfortable with the more advanced React concepts as we proceed further. So, join me in mastering React. To reap maximum benefits of this video series, make sure you have basic understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and programming. And basic understanding of DOM. Okay, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. React is an open source JavaScript library created by Facebook. It is maintained by Facebook and a community of individual developers and companies. Further, React is used for building user interfaces and single page applications. It allows reusability because it maintains code in component models. Basically, React is a view layer of an MVC application, that is, model view controller. React is way more popular than most of our well-known JavaScript libraries and framework, even more popular than Angular. React ranks three in the most popular JavaScript front-end frameworks. React has many benefits over Angular, like quick and efficiency, an additional benefit of JSX, flexibility in building blocks, isomorphic JavaScript, support of large community, and many more. React is being heavily not only used in Facebook's site, but also in web versions of Instagram and WhatsApp. So used apart from Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, there are more than 8,000 plus companies reportedly to use React in their tech stacks. They include the popular Airbnb, Uber, Netflix, Pinterest, Instagram, etc. To get the basic idea, you can directly code into an HTML file. But if you want to delve into more deeper concepts, I'd recommend you to install NPM and Node.js and set up a React environment. The setting up involves two processes, the installation part and the setting up of React environment part. Under the installation part, you have to install Node.js from the URL on your screen. Once you click the URL, you'll be given an N number of downloadables and you have to download the appropriate Node.js for your machine and then you can install it. So while you install Node.js, NPM, which is a package manager, gets also installed along with Node.js. So the installation is done. Next, let us set up React environment. For setting up React environment, you have to run this command on your command prompt window. npm install hyphen g for global, create React app. Create React app environment comes with pre-configured with everything you need to build the React app. Now let's go to the demo part. Open the command prompt. I have Node.js already installed in my machine. I can show you the version that I have. I have 10.16 version. I have now navigated to my desired folder location and from here I'll be creating the React project. I'm going to use npx and not npm using the installed create react app command and my new project. So I'm going to name this project as my first React app. Let's click enter. My React project is now created. Here, from the suggestions, we can see that we can change to uh, this folder, which is already created by my uh, create React app process. 
and then I can run npm start to kickstart the project. Before we do this suggested steps, let us go to the created folder and check what are all the files which is created over there. This is my location. And from here you can see the node modules folder is created. We have something called public folder. Here you have all the public images which comes along with the created project. And you have an SRC which is similar to the SPFX SRC that we can see over here. And the other package, package.json, package-log.json. So these are all the default library and packages that comes along with this create react app command to create the project. Okay, now let's start the project. So I'm going to follow the suggested step. CD, my first react app. I'm right now in my uh, project folder. npm start. This is the output that I get from the local host, which is run from, uh, from my first React app that was created. So we can see a bit of animation over here. We can see a link over here and edit src app.js and save to reload. So I have a bit of instruction also over here. So till now, we have created our very first React app. Let me open the code. I'm using visual code editor to view my code content. This is the same that we are using for our previous SPFX videos also. So here I can see my first React app folder over here and the node modules, public and SRC. So here under the source file, I am able to see an app.js, we have an app.js, we have a CSS file, we have an app.test.js, index.css, JS file, logo, and server worker processes or JS files over here. So let me click on the app.js. From here, you can see there is a function app over here. And there is a return module over here. And from here, the image logo, the logo that we saw on the page. This is the logo. And then we have the text, which is the edit src app.js and save to reload. And we have a link here. So this is the so this is the functionality which is being displayed on the page. If I add some, hi, this is my first app. Save it. See, it is automatically reloaded. So that's the beauty of the code over here. You can do changes randomly to your React code using any code editor. You save it and then you can see the changes reflected onto your browser. This makes coding easy. Let us explore the import files. We have import React from React. The React is from our node modules present over here. You can see. And logo is from the current folder logo, which is present under the source itself. And we have app.css file, that is this file. All the animation and all kind of CSS settings are done over here. So this is pretty much what we get from our initial setup of the React app that we have created using the Facebook's create React app command. So guys, in this video, we have covered what is React and how to set up a React environment and what are all the components that we get when we create a React project using Create React app. So in the next set of series, we will be diving more deeper into React. If you like the content and would like to master React right from the basics, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. 
and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications for the upcoming React videos. You can contact us through email, Facebook and Twitter. So stay tuned folks, much love, keep learning.